strange black beats.
up, 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 up for me A big salute, family. This your brother, Kate Judah, giving our praise to the Most High Yah and faith in Yahshua HaMashiach. To the Israelite family worldwide, I say peace and blessings. Big salute to the CUC family, the, F the FOPE family, and all the beloved brothers and sisters in the chat. The reason why I'm doing this live this morning, family, because if I just tell y'all the stuff that I hear, you probably wouldn't believe me. But if I show you the stuff that I hear, it's going to make you just be like, wow. Even within this walk, you have certain individuals who teach things they don't even understand themselves, family. And have the opposition of y'all. Have more understanding than the one that's teaching the people. Let me say that again. You have those who don't even believe in y'all who condemn the Bible. Have more understanding than the one that do believe in the Bible. It's not for everybody. But what you about to hear. To Zariak, please, brother. You need to sit down and you need to get you some knowledge, bro. And I'm not saying you don't have knowledge. This video is not to disrespect you in any way. You say so much stuff, brother. That's not biblical. I just don't understand. Why do you blurt out things you cannot read? And then when somebody try to show you the right way, you start making up stuff on the scriptures, trying to private interpretate just so you can be right. 
brother, if somebody trying to show you something and it's correct according to the Bible, don't start giving ab libs, brother. Don't interpret it. It's say what it say. And we have a lot of this going on. A lot of the teachers, when you try to show them something, their pride won't allow for them to receive the message that you're trying to give them. Because in their mind, you can't teach me. I've been doing this 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. What that got to do with anything? Truth is truth. No matter who tell the truth. No matter who tell the truth. And truth ain't looking for friends, man. So when I hear certain things, it's my duty to bring it to the forefront and say, people, go this way. Don't go that way. Go this way. Go the way that Yahshua say, which is a narrow path that lead to life. Go this way, family. Because I'm going to tell y'all something that a lot of people, as long as you, if you're not in the shoes of a teacher, you wouldn't understand. We can't just sit around and say, nah, I ain't going to touch on that. Don't you know how many people being deceived? So you going to just say, I'm not going to touch on that. That's going to become a doctrine. That's going to become something that somebody going to bring to somebody else. And it's going to be a lie. And they're going to take that lie and spread that lie. Now here go another doctrine. They bring it to you that you have to clean up. Y'all don't understand how many people come and ask me stuff. They'd be like, brother, I heard this over here. Brother, I heard that over here. Brother, I just heard this. What you think, brother? I heard this, brother. What you think about this? You know what I tell them? Read for yourself. I don't got all the answers. I don't have all the answers. So that means you got to sit down and read for yourself. Because you coming to me asking me what I think about every little thing, I don't have all the answers. So that means if you want the answer, you got you to gotta do what I be doing. Sit down and give Yah and Yahshua time out of your life and get you some understanding. Sit down and give Yah some time. Because I'm a flawed man just like everybody else. I don't have all the answers. Do I have a lot of understanding of the scriptures? Yes, I do. But do I know everything? No. That's why I read every day, family, to get more understanding, more knowledge, to equip myself more. Because I'm going to tell y'all something. I always put myself in the shoes of the opposition. So when I'm putting my lessons together, I talk to myself. I play the position of the one who's coming against what I'm teaching. I play the opposition of the one who teaches false doctrine. That's why on the live, you hear me talking to myself. So when I be like, you a liar, K. Judah, you a false teacher, because this is the stuff that people think. So when they saying that, you got to go, really? So you go in the Bible and prove that you're not. <laughs> That's the only way for you to stand out in the eyesight of Yah to show that you are bearing fruit that's edifying his people and not just talking. So as you see the title, Captain Tazaria, please stop, my brother. Adam and Eve were the first people. Let's get it. <laughs> Y'all ready to hear this? Let's get it. Yeah, please, please. All right. Hey, Captain, where you been, man? I've been all right, man. I've been around. You know, I was in North Carolina last week. I know. For the, um, know. For the past. So... Yeah. Zoe. Yeah, we had a good time. Hold Who on. they talking? Israel, hold on, man. Israel look at you as a celebrity. He's so happy when you come in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, man. Yeah, you crazy, sir. Si. You crazy as hell, si. I just spoke to the brother. If he speak back or whatever, I don't know what y'all doing, but I ain't no joke. Come here, do your thing. He said he spoke to you, Captain. 
Him and Sutek look alike. What's going on, man? Okay, here's what here's what I want to ask you, man. What's up? How many creation stories are in the book of Genesis? Or oh, let's say in the Bible. Creation of what exactly? Like you talk about creation of mankind, creation oh. of the earth. Creation of everything, the creation story. Come on, brother, don't play. Okay, games. so the creation. Now I'm just asking to see so I can make sure I answer you properly. That's all. So creation itself is Genesis, the first chapter. Everything after Genesis, the first chapter. Well, I'm sorry, up to Genesis, the second chapter, and I think like the third verse when he said he rested from the work. That's the end of creating something in, in the sense of it, it didn't exist before he had it. And then most people look at Genesis, the second chapter, when it starts talking about Adam, they look at that as an explanation of Genesis, the first chapter in the creation of man, because, of course, they indoctrinated with believing that Adam and Eve was the first people. So how they break it down is they look at it like Genesis, the first chapter says, let us make man in our image. And then Genesis, the second chapter is going into detail about the first man and first woman stop. when that's not okay. stop, Captain. you're watching yeah. me on the download brother no you know, you know what it was you know a couple years ago like two I, years ago i was supposed to do you studying me but you ain't gonna give me that prop because i remember asking you this and you timothy you better talk that talk boy timothy you better talk that talk boy that's the correct y'all see my brother this this is correct right here. This is correct right here. Wrong, cause the second chapter reiterate chapter one in more detail. You better talk that talk, boy. And that's what I tell everybody. Chapter one and chapter two, all the most high is doing is reiterating what he did in chapter one. Because y'all remember, he created everything in six days. So when you get to chapter two, all he doing is just telling you what he did in chapter one. So when he say, let us make man in our image, way before Adam was even created, he already had it, everything orchestrated in the blueprint. All he did in chapter two, it just told you what he did. I breathed into his nostrils and he became a living soul, but he created him on the sixth day. He rested on the seventh. He didn't start no, no create after the seventh day. Everything was already done from one to six. Let's get it was going full steam ahead that there's two creation stories in genesis brother i remember no, that. i never said no i'm against that and the, what, I, what i was going to say was guy on that subject and they call it the jepd theory where they think they go as far as to say there are two different writers there's a writer for genesis one and there's a writer for genesis two so i actually studied this like two years ago. Now, I have heard, because I don't want you to think I ain't giving you no props. I have heard your breakdown, but your breakdown is the same as other people's breakdown that believe the same thing, that they believe that Adam and Eve was the first human beings. So it's easy for them to kind of harmonize the concept of Genesis, the second chapter. Hey, Captain, I want to tell you, you know I'm going to make a clip of this, right? <laughs> I, listen, I still ain't seen the clip. You yeah. said you was going to... I did make the clip. You ain't see it? I got you. Uh -uh. Video. Captain, okay. you forgot um, last week we had a little discussion on that. Remember about the. Yeah, I remember we had a discussion on it. You were saying it was too creative. Hey, baby girl. Yeah, we had a dis I remember that. We, right. We, but we, you were saying that it was two creations at that time. Remember? No, nah, you, you might have to play it. I don't, I, you might have understood it as me saying two creations. But I know that the people think that there's, I say it's one creation. Adam was already alive when he got the truth from the most high. That's how I break it down. Let me see if I still got that, man. Yeah. Because if I do, I think I got rid of it. The okay. creative space. I hope not. Up there. Yeah, I, mean, I got rid of it. But I got that, brother. Perfect. And I got you. You got to, yo, man. Nah, yeah, you got to play it because... Everybody knows that I teach that Adam was, if you can go as far back as um, when I debated uh, Polite that time in Brooklyn. When I what y'all know this family? What's the first problem with everything that Tazariak is saying? 
and I'm and I'm and, and I'm trying to paint a picture for y'all. What's the problem that y'all see that Tazoriak is doing that a lot of the Israelite camps do? What's the problem with what he's doing? He haven't opened up the Bible family and just read the scriptures. Y'all see that? Because when they can't explain their doctrine, they won't open up the Bible because there is no scripture that say anything of what Tazar Yak is explaining, family. So how he going to open up the Bible and explain it with the scriptures when there is no scriptures say the things that he is saying? So he trying to run it down by word, but he not reading the scriptures to explain it because there is no scriptures to explain what he's saying. Watch as he keep going. Y'all finna see it's about to get crazy. Listen. I said Adam was already alive when he got the truth. There is no creation of Adam except receiving the truth, which is the law, statutes, and commandments. That's how I break it. Well, you remember that debate we had on polygamy? Said, I remember the debate we had on polygamy. You said Adam and Eve was not the first that it was some other people and went into the correct country. thank you god thank you i'm glad you said that he's he, like even out um israel doctrine is proving my point like there was other people with adam and eve adam what makes adam and eve or what makes adam special is what made abraham special what other people was with adam and eve family if other people was with adam and eve in genesis chapter 5 why did the Lord run down Adam's lineage if it was other people with him? I'm going to ask one more time. If there was other people with Adam and Eve, what did y'all need to have Adam's lineage run down from Adam to Seth to Enos to Canaan? Why did he run it down? Because there was no other people with them, family. So from Adam, remember, he slept with Eve. She had Cain and Abel. He killed his brother. Then she had a son named Seth. And then God run it down from there. There was no other people with them, family. No other people. There was no other people with Adam and Eve, y'all. But y'all see what he doing? Tazoriak haven't opened up the Bible yet. Because he know there is no scripture that explains what he's saying. Adam was the one that the Lord chose to separate from the other people, just okay. like... You were saying there was other people here already. You said that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm saying. Oh, so now you say it was not. It was the, who was the first man on the planet, Captain? According there is no, there is no, there is no such thing as a first man or first woman on the planet. What what's your zodiac sign? Because the Aries would tell you exactly it wouldn't play with it, but you play with it. No, hear what I'm hear what I'm saying. When it says, "Let us create man in our image," and told them to subdue the earth, one man and one woman can't subdue the earth. But if you create multiple men and multiple women, they can subdue the earth. They can multiply across the earth. Can we would have if what Captain Tazariak is true. I mean, I'm sorry, y'all. If what Captain Tazariak is saying is true. The Lord took Adam and Eve, y'all. They had some children, right? Adam lived to be 900 and some years old. Ain't that's a long time to have a lot of sons and daughters, family? And then Seth turned around and had a bunch of sons and daughters. And then his son Canaan turned around and had a bunch of sons and daughters. And it kept going down all the way till you get to Methuselah. Even after Methuselah, it was a Noah's father. And then he had Noah. And then after the flood, Noah's three sons repopulated the earth. What is this man talking about, family? What scriptures say what he's saying? Now, a lot of Israelites, this is why I say a lot of them and I never say all. Don't you know people will make videos and say, why we do this to our brothers? Why we go at one another? Y'all haven't heard me disrespect this brother at all. I'm just calling out the false doctrine, family, because this is ridiculous. We can't have this going on in a community where he's a teacher and he's over an organization and they teaching our nation. And this is the stuff he using to teach them. This is confusion, man. So y'all wonder why people, by the time they come to us, they want to argue us down because what they heard from somebody else like this.
This is not biblical, man. So this is why we come and do what we do. We not disrespecting other Israelites. We calling out the lies. We can't be friends with everybody, man. And we can't sugarcoat the truth. The truth stands alone. It don't need no friends. But we have to call it out. This is ridiculous, y'all. The man just making up stuff as he go. Why he haven't pulled one scripture yet, family? That's all I'm asking. Why he haven't read the scripture? Listen, if you take if you take two if you take children today, if you take children that has the same mother and father, you run the risk of uh it's a higher risk of mental defects with those kids. So there's no way I, I just get okay. Can I go to a source right quick? First, you said you're going to a source for what? For what I want to say. Just right no, I just want to know the subject. I just want to know the source for the subject. Oh, and hold on one second. That Adam was the first mate. And the source right there on the screen, so I know you got to share it. Do you hear it, Captain? Do you hear him? So. No, I didn't hear him. I'm sorry. I'm going to blow it up for everybody. You didn't hear it right here. What verse is he going to? Can you just call out the verse? 45, 1 Corinthians 15 and 45. And so it was written. The first man. Y'all see Captain Zoryak start laughing. Y'all see that? The man want to go to the scriptures. Captain Zoryak start laughing. But this is Israelite teachers, though. These are people over the nation. These, these are people that other Israelites call their leaders. And this man start laughing when he say, can I go to a source? He say, for what? He said, I want to read this scripture. Tazariak started laughing. Was made a here. What verse is he going to? Can you just call out the verse? 45, 1 Corinthians 15 and 45. And so <laughs> it was written. The first man was made a living soul. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. So the first man, Adam, was a living soul. Adam was the first man based on what's written in the Bible. That's the source right there. And what's the quickening okay, spirit? And, that, and that, that's, that's your final answer on that? What's the quickening spirit, Israel? You, first, you said you're in 1 Corinthians 15 and what? 45. Gotcha. Okay. I'm asking you, what is the quickening spirit? Quickening spirit is uh, when the Lord, that's rebirth. Well, you know, I, I feel bad for the brother because I don't know what's been going on with Israel doctrine, but I pray that my brother is okay, like as far as his mental. But uh, Sinetta going to say what the quickening spirit is, and that's sad that Sinetta got more understanding than, than the, to, than the uh, to Zaryak. And as this video continue on, you are going to see that Sinetta have more understanding than to Zaryak, which is embarrassing. Just listen as it go, but Israel doctrine, Sinetta about to tell you, which is sad, y'all, because if you are Israelite and Sinetta don't even believe in y'all book, he talk crazy about y'all power. And he about to answer the question that Israel doctrine didn't even know. So I'm telling y'all, these people don't read the scriptures, man. That's right no, now. That's what Jesus, you brother. That's your how is child, brother. I'm not trying to get into no argument. You asked no, the second, the, the second, right? The I, last Adam was made a quickening spirit. That's that's your how is child. I'm not trying to get into an argument. You want to argue? We can uh Sonetta is right, family. The reason why Yahshua was making a quickening spirit because he didn't decompose. He was only in the grave for three days. God quickened that spirit immediately. Boom. Three days he was up. So that's why I say it was made a quickening spirit because he didn't stay in the grave long like how David decomposed, how Noah decomposed, how Abraham, they still in the grave. They saw corruption. Yahshua saw no corruption. So that's why I say a quickening spirit because the Lord did not allow him to go through that transition. So Sinetta is right on that point. It's talking about Yahshua, which was made the quickening spirit. Argue, but I'm not trying to do it. Captain, you agree, Captain? Well, what he said? He said, he's saying that the quickening spirit, the second, the last Adam was uh -huh. made the quickening spirit. I'm saying that was Yahawashah. That is Yahawashah. That's you. made a quickening spirit, right. So, but when you read that, that's not literal, because if you take it literal, then we gotta... Y'all heard that? 
Time out. Let me go back again. Did y'all hear what he just said? When the man read the scripture in 1 Corinthians 15, to Zor, y'all don't have an answer for it. So he said, man, that's not literal. Y'all heard it for yourself, right? Listen again, man. A quickening spirit. That's that's your how is y'all. I'm not trying to get into an argument. You want to argue? We can argue, but I'm not trying to do it. Captain, you agree, Captain? Well, what he said? He said, he's saying that the quickening spirit, the second, the last Adam was uh -huh. made quickening spirit. I'm saying that was your Shah. That is your Shah. That's you. made a quickening spirit, right? So, but when you read that, that's not literal because that if you take a line. <laughs> <laughs> were born after him so the point of that verse is not about a first literal man that nigga lying <laughs> okay now what now so now here here's what you would be doing and what i and that's not what I'm saying, Captain. If you ask okay. me, I would say they've been here. Remember, Adam lived to be 800 years old. This is not just happening. Y'all don't see this man got more understanding than Tazori Yak. Like my brother Timothy just said, where they get the wise from? They got it from their own lineage, family. Because Adam had sons and daughters. When Cain was looking for a wife in the land of Nod, Adam and all his offspring all the way down to Methuselah. It was a lot of women to choose from, from among their own kinfolk. God allowed that at that time. Not that too close of kin, but kin. This man don't have no understanding, family, but he's a teacher. He gonna say that's not literal. How is not literal when in Genesis chapter two, verse seven, he breathed into Adam's nostril and the man became a living soul. What is this? What is this guy talking about family? This is why we do what we do. We can't let this go by our ears. We can't sit back and say, oh, I don't want to make it look like I'm coming at my brother. This is straight lies, lies of false doctrine of devils. We got to call it out, family. This is ridiculous. This man said that's not literal. He just going to tell y'all his word not literal when he said that Adam was the first man. So he don't have an answer for it or a scripture for it. He just going to say, man, that ain't literal. Happening. It happened uh, uh, maybe when he was like 500 or, or, you know, a few years younger. There's already multiple people on the earth. Hold up, Israel. There's already multiple people on the earth. Already. So then, Sarnetta, you 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 take the position that there are people besides Adam on the earth. No, no. According to the Bible, Adam is the first um, Adam on the earth. He's the first. What, man. what verse? Say, what ver What verse in Genesis says he was the first man? Now he playing games. He know there is no verse that say that Adam was the first man, but we know he's the first man because he's the first man that God breathed the spirit of Yah into his nostrils. What other man was around when he breathed into Adam's nostril? What other man was around when he took the rib and made one man? What other person was around? It was only Adam and Eve, family. But he want to play semantics. He want to play games with words because he don't have an answer because his pride want to allow him to humble down and say, y'all right. It do say what it say. His pride want to allow him to allow the scriptures to be correct. Hey, Sharsham, uh, let me send you the link. So y'all see what I'm saying? Everybody in this community want to make it look like Israelites is going at other Israelites. Don't you know you can correct your brother in love without being disrespectful? And that's what me and Shosham do. We don't be disrespecting other Israelites. We just calling out the lies. We just calling out the discrepancies and what's coming out his mouth. The man said it's not literal. He just made that up. He made that up. There you go, my brother.
Let's keep it going. Big salute to everybody in the chat, man. Love y'all with the pre-heart. Oh, okay, okay. I got you. I got you, my brother. Ah, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. There's a light only camp killer. He don't believe that. He don't believe that we all come from Adam. And I don't understand why that's so hard to be understood. All you have to do is just understand, okay, Adam and Eve was the first parents of all living. And then they have a lineage that go all the way down from Noah three sons to what we see today. Adam and Eve is our full father and foremother because they are the beginning of all his creation as far as man and one man. So we all come from Adam and Eve because they are the first of our foremother and our forefather, Adam and Eve, the mother of all living and the father of all living. Because when you say man, it covers everything, woman and children, because man is the species. Man, so when God say, you know, uh, uh, men are who I call. Men are the pastor of my, and then he come back and say, but I'm a part of my spirit on all flesh, your sons and your daughters. So anytime he say man, it covers women and children too. He's not just talking to the men, because he would have never told us I'm a part of my spirit on all flesh then. He would just be saying, I'm going to pour my spirit on man and man going to prophesy and man going to do this and man going to do that. So the point that I'm making is that man covers everything. Man covers everything because he is the head of the family. Okay, here it is. Let me share my screen. Yeah. Let me share my screen because just yeah. like Drill brought out that I brought out the other day, here we go right here where you can look at it. Who was seven? Hold on, hold on. Hold on, here, go right here. First Corinthians 15, 45. And so it is written, the first man, Adam, was made from a living soul, brother. It doesn't say from, it says made a living soul. It doesn't say from. Made a... Y'all see how this man Nick picking? Come on now. Y'all see how this man Nick picking? A living soul, the first man, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. We are living mm -hmm. souls right now. Are we living souls? Yeah, we all live in souls, right, correct. But the first living soul was who? Adam. But when you live in, but when you live in according to the Bible, how are you alive? According now, I just watch what he about to do again, family. He not about to read no scripture. Watch what Tazar Yak about to say. I'm telling y'all, we have to call this stuff out. I'm not looking for no friends. I'm looking for those who teach in truth, and that goes for every last one of us who have a platform who's teaching somebody something. If we sit back and we hear stuff like this and we worry about what everybody else going to say, oh, you going at your brother. Oh, you causing division. Man, let people think what they want to think. Nobody's causing no division. This man is causing division because he teaching lies. Him. Just wanted to be pointed out. I asked where in Genesis does it say Adam is the first man. He went to Corinthians. I don't have a problem with that. When we're talking about life and death, in the Bible, what is living according to the Bible? If y'all don't know, then you can say you don't know. But what is living according to the Bible? Following God's commands. I rather hear your your. Yeah, I, want, I want to hear what you say. Go ahead. Oh yes, hold on. Who's my niece? Oh, hey, I'm just. I'm sorry. I'm just rushing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got to get up out of here. I apologize. <laughs> my bad. My niece wanted to say hi. I apologize. Sir. Living according to the Bible or how you even come to life according to the Bible is when you're keeping the law of God. Now, if you're not. Your mic cut off, Captain. Your mic cut off. <laughs> Captain, you so might say Adam became a living soul. He was the first one giving the giving the laws of God. Yo, Captain, Captain, you see this you're all throughout the Bible. If you go to Deuteronomy, the 30th chapter says, I set before thee, excuse me, choose this day life or death. Life is keeping the commandments, death is not keeping the commandments. Do y'all see what this man just did, family? This is why I read the scriptures every single day, family. So you won't be deceived. 
This is why your brother K. Judah is going hard in the paint for the nation. So you don't be deceived. What he just said was a bold face lie. How can keeping the commandments keep you alive at the time that he breathed in Adam's nostrils when he did not give Adam the command until after he breathed into his nostrils? Let me say that again. How, Tazariah, even though we know keeping the commandments do make you alive, but when he breathed into Adam's nostrils, brother, that was the breath of life. And then he told him after he breathed into his nostrils, don't eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. What are you talking about, brother? Let me go read it. This is sad, y'all. And Tazar Yak been doing this for years. And ain't too many people calling them out because maybe they're, well, and, and, and when I say not too many, that goes to show you there are people calling him out on his false doctrine. But most people look at this man like he's some celebrity or something because, you know, he on side netta and he floats around. This man teaches false doctrine, man. I mean, he say crazy wild stuff, y'all. And he has to be challenged on the doctrine. This is Genesis chapter two, man. When did the Lord give Adam the command not to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil? Was it when he breathed into his nostrils? No. Genesis chapter two, verse seven, and it reads, and the Lord gone for a man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul. Uh, I don't see what he told him about the command yet, family. Uh, I don't see what he told him about the command yet, family. Jump down to verse 16. And the Lord God commanded the man, oh, after he created him and breathed into his nostrils, then he gave him the command. Uh, to Zariach, after he breathed into his nostrils, brother, and Adam became a living soul, then he gave him the command, not at the time he breathed into his nostrils, to Zariach. Verse 16, and the Lord God commanded the man, saying, of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou should not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shall surely die. To Zariach, it was after he breathed into his nostrils, not before. Right. You're going to talk about, if so if you're going to talk about the life that Adam was given, the only thing that it can be is the laws of God. That's what made him a living soul. The difference between the first Adam and the last Adam is the first Adam couldn't give us life. He had to receive life. The last Adam makes us a quickening spirit, meaning through him, we get life. That's why 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, is saying what it's saying. What Christ has given us is not what Adam has given us. Christ makes us, God, I'm sorry. I'm gonna ask you again, Captain. Wait, but before before you act, before you before you act, before you ask that, okay. when it says the last Adam was a quickening spirit, didn't we already have a spirit before we got Christ? Yes, the quickening spirit is Christ gave us the right spirit to serve God. Y'all use the terminology wrong. Quickening. Thank you. Y'all don't hear this. Y'all don't hear how he explaining scripture instead of reading scripture. I thought y'all told us to prove all things by the word. I thought he said that the prophecy was written a fourth time for our learning. I thought he told me to seek out of the book of the Lord and read. No, private interpretate. Read. No, since uh, what my sister Arca said, because y'all know I'm country. What the, What's that word my beloved sister used? Sensationalizing the scriptures. To Zoryak. If y'all really called you to teach, you supposed to teach. But it's supposed to be what does say the Lord to Zariah. You are explaining and giving us your private interpretation of what the book say. Just give us the book. And that would keep down a lot of confusion. I keep trying to tell people that. But I guess I'm just a nigga that's talking. If you prove all things to individuals, whether they agree with you or not, I guarantee you, at least they will say this. Man, you did read it, though. I might not agree with it, but, brother, I got to say, you read everything. 
you you know you prove your position i just disagree with some things but at least you went into the scriptures and proved it somebody will say that family instead of y'all going back and forth and arguing because he's sensationalizing the scriptures you asking him to read he not reading anything he trying to explain to you what it means you telling him man i don't care what you say what you think it mean why you won't go in the bible and read it i'm trying to explain to you what it say no brother read it brother i'm trying to explain all it's gonna do is cause an argument and confusion how about just read it just read it tazaria just read it brother let me show y'all the reason why Yahshua was the last Adam. This is Revelations 13. Once Adam sinned, Yahshua had to come. There was nothing clean enough that can die for our sins, for the remission of sins, to get, get us in good graces with Yah again. So he sent his son. Nobody was clean enough. Not even, you know, not even the animals was good enough. Even shed nay blood could not get you, get you back in good graces for the remission of sins with Yah. The animals was making an atonement for you, but it was the blood of animals. So Yah said, you know what? I'm going to make my son a body for the suffering of sin. Because he was the only one that can make that atonement to Yah and please Yah through the suffering. For the remission of sin. This is Revelations. Let's see what the Bible said that Adam did to Yahshua. This is Revelations 13 and verse 8. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. Talking about the beast, the beast system. Whose names are not written in the book of life of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. When was Adam created, y'all? From the foundation of Genesis, right? Which is the beginning, right? So once he sinned, he slew Yahshua HaMashiach. This is book. How can Yahshua be slain from the foundation of the world then? Because Adam sinned. So once Adam sinned, Yah knew he had to send his son. He knew it. He knew he had to send his son. That's why Yahshua said, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do your will, O God. He said, uh, sacrifices and animals thou wouldest not, but a body has thou prepared me. This is way before this man came in the flesh and blood body that it was already prophesied that that uh, Yah was going to send Yahshua to die for the children of Israel and for the suffering of sin. And as many as would believe through faith. It was already written. So the first Adam was made a living soul, which is a flesh and blood man. The last Adam was also flesh and blood, but he was made a quickening spirit because he didn't see corruption. He was only in the grave for three days and three nights. So that's why I say a quickening spirit because he went down three days, boom. God resurrected him just like that. Quickening spirit, boom. Spirit means he makes you alive. That's, That's if, what I just said. Okay, cool. If you born in this world, you must be born again, as Christ said. When well, all right, but but thank you, but thank you, Israel, because we are we are living though. We just not living according to God. And when Christ gives us the quickening spirit, now we're alive, even though we're already living. You just proved my point. Okay, right. well, I want to ask you. It's that. like the Walking Dead. It's like the Walking Dead. Let me ask yeah. you. Are they men here? Are they people here before Adam? No, they're all here at the same time as Adam. So I'm I'm gonna read the verse. So I'm gonna read the verse so y'all can understand what I'm saying. In Genesis one, Genesis one and twenty six, it says, and God said, "Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, over the cattle, and all creeping thing in the earth." So God created man in His own image, and the image of God created He Him. Male and female created He them, and God blessed them, and God said unto them, "Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion Captain, over the I'm fish of." Captain, can you do that again? Because I got distracted. Do that one more time. Which verse? All, all the verses? Yes. All the verses? Yes. And, and read what you're reading it from. Um, this is Genesis 1, 26. 
Okay. And I already seen Israel say Genesis five. If you go there, you're gonna hurt yourself bad. I'm just telling you. <laughs> ahead, you gonna, it's gonna be it's gonna be over. I'm just letting you know. So now Genesis one and twenty six. God said, "Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, the cattle, and over all the creeping thing." So God created man in His own image. Twenty seven. God created man in His own image, and the image of God created He him. Male and female created He them. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply, replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish, the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth. Two people can't do that on the planet earth. That's why you but a this dude going to tell y'all what two people can't do. Let me say it one more time. This man going to tell y'all what two people can't do. But three people, which was. Shem, Ham, and Japheth repopulated the whole earth after the flood. So what is adding one more person to Adam and Eve what two people can't do, but three people can? The point that I'm making, family, is that this is why in Genesis chapter 5, Yah run down Adam's lineage. Because as Adam had children, he lived to be 900 and some years old. Seth had children. He lived to be 900 and some years old. Seth's son had children. He lived to be 900 and some years. Y'all see what I'm saying? So Adam and Eve had the first kids, which was Cain and Abel. He killed his brother. Then they had Seth. And they also had two daughters. So the point that I'm making is that if you living to be eight to 900 years old, ain't that a long time to repopulate, y'all? What is this guy talking about? What is he talking about? Help us, y'all. This is why you said, pray that y'all send laborers in the vineyard. The laborers are few. Meaning truth tellers, y'all. Many are called, y'all, but you say few are chosen. Few gonna get it right. Many going to lead those broad that lead to destruction. But those who are trying to get the narrow path going to be few because of people love lies. Ain't that what you told us, y'all, in Isaiah 29? Ain't that what you told us in Isaiah? That these people draw near to me with their mouth? But I removed their heart, which is your mind. But I removed their heart, which is your mind, far from me. The precept of is taught by the precept of men, not by y'all. Because y'all say any man that stand in my counsel gonna turn Israel from their sin. This man is giving you false doctrine. And he been doing it for years, y'all. This man been teaching, and he ain't the only one. We got so many brothers that teach lies and make up doctrine. And all these people, a lot of times, they bring the doctrine that they heard from these camps and they come bring it to your brother K. Judah, come bring it to Short Sham, come bring it to our other brothers and sisters who got platforms that's trying to teach right. And they come and say, y'all wrong. Adam and Eve wasn't the first person. I say, man, who you got that from? Man, I was listening to ISUPK, Israel, you know, I would listen to the camp and they said that they said. I say, what do the Bible say, though? It say that Adam was the first man. All right, there you go. We, we ain't got to argue about it, bro. That's why I read the scriptures, y'all, because I don't want to argue with Israel. So I just go into the Bible, tell them what the Bible say, whether they agree with it or not. I didn't did my job. The blood is off of me, family, because I proved it. I read it, and I didn't give no private interpretation. Multitude of people being created can do that on the planet Earth. All right, stop, Captain. This is where you're making a mistake. What mm -hmm. you're doing now is you're adding to the scripture. You yes, add it. Yes. Now. If it's said which part did I add? When you said, but a multiple people. That part right there. Show me where it says a multiple people. See if you didn't okay, B, I got you. No, no problems. I don't. I don't have a problem with you saying yeah. that the latter part when I'm saying he created an abundance of them because yeah. now. And that from it's not just that verse that I make that uh, that I make that truth from. I make that truth based on again, Cain. When Cain killed his brother, what did Cain say? All that see me shall slay me. 
Yes. Yes. Right. So you can. So if we go, if we go by the narrative of what y'all saying, the Bible is saying at that point, it's only Adam, Eve, Cain, Abel is dead. No. It's so not. now there's only. But no, you wrong. It's it all. Genesis five tell you Adam had babies. He had boys and girls. A bunch of them over right. the nine hundred years he was. Now, how do Sinetta got more knowledge than Tazora? Yeah. Tell me. Tell me, how do Sadnetta got more knowledge than Tazora Yah? Tell me, man. When you get to Genesis 5, he run down the lineage. So when Cain said, everybody that's fine, he going to kill me. Because Adam already had lived a long time and had sons and daughters. And then he had set who also had sons and daughters. After Cain killed Abel, then Adam and Eve had a son named Seth. So by the time you get to Genesis chapter 5, it don't mention Cain's lineage. It goes straight to Seth. It can't go to Abel. He's dead. He's dead. So it had to start from Seth. What is this Negro talking about? How do Sinetta got more knowledge than Tazoriak and Sinetta don't even believe in the Bible but got more understanding than Tazoriak? This is embarrassing. Embarrassing. This nigga is making up stuff. And now we wonder why we got all this confusion in the nation. And everybody always talking about let's all come together. How you gonna come together and let y'all can walk together and agree? At least agree on 90 some percent of the Bible. I couldn't walk with the Zara Yak. I can't stand there and co sign this. I'm gonna be looking at him like, oh, come on, man. I'm standing next to this dude. He's saying that. People are gonna think I agree with this. So it's gonna cause a rip between me and him because when we get behind the scene, I'm gonna say, brother, what you're saying is not biblical. And it's gonna cause a rip because most men have pride, they don't like receiving correction. Especially if they think they over you. He's a captain. If he was over me and I was in that camp, you think me telling him, brother, what you saying is not biblical. You think he going to take my words to heart? No, he not. Because he going to say, nigga, I'm a captain over you. Yeah. I told y'all not. I told y'all not to go to. I told y'all not to go to Genesis five. Let's go to Genesis five. Yeah, and give and give you a breakdown. Give you a break. Thank you. Hey, Israelite only camp killer. I've been telling people that for years, brother. When they ask me where did Cain get his wife from, I say he got it from among his own kinfolk. How, brother? Because Adam had a lot of sons and daughters. That's how. Seth had a lot of sons and daughters, that's how. But this was this is before Seth. Remember, Seth is born after Cain killed Abel. So he got his, his wife from among his father's lineage at the time because there was no Seth. Seth did not come until after Cain killed Abel. Then she had another son in place of Abel, which name was Seth. And then men began to call on the name of the Lord when Seth was born. So Adam lived a long time and had a bunch of kids, sons and daughters. He lived to be 900 years old. That's so long of a life to have a bunch of kids. But but he going to say, how can two people populate the earth? Because we got Genesis chapter five and the Bible told us that they did. And then after the flood, you got Ham, Shem and Japheth, and they did the same thing that Adam and Eve did. We populated the earth again. How is that so hard to be understood? To sorry, y'all. How? Break down, please. Okay, Genesis 5, verse 1. This is the book of the generation of the first man created, Adam. In the day God created the first man, Adam. In the likeness of God made him. When you go to the other two stories, it start out the same way because he made Adam first and then he made Eve. Talk is it talk. a lie or is right. that the truth? That's the truth. That is That's the truth. Lie. Can you read That's that verse? Lie. Can you read? Can you read that verse again? Genesis five. Yes, yes, and I keep the other stuff. In this is the book of the generation of Adam. 
in the day God created Adam in a likeness. It doesn't of say God, God created Adam. What what Bible are you reading? Because in, the, in Genesis with KJV, what Bible are you reading? What I'm you reading the KJV. It said in the KJV it says this in the book of the generations of Adam in the day that God created man. Doesn't say that God created Adam. Well, we just read First Corinthians. Didn't Once again, you just what well, now? There, there's dishonesty. There, there's dishonesty. There's this. You can say that, but we just read that. Wait, wait, wait! But no, no. But we got to be honest. Listen, the scriptures say if any man that Adam was the first man. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Why? Well, I, don't, I don't know why you. I don't know why. You, uh, uh, Israelite, uh, Israel doctrine. All you have to do, brother, is pay attention to the word at the bottom. So Zoryak is trying to trip you up. So what you do is you just go to the bottom right here. Uh, Genesis 5 verse 1. This is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day that God created man, in the likeness of God, made he him, him to Zoryak, him, singular, him. So what are you talking about? It say him. It don't say them. You talking about he made multiple men at once. It say him. Let me keep going, man. Male and female created he them. Now it say them because he created Adam and Eve. So now it say them. But at first it said him. So Israel doctrine, he didn't chop you up. He just got to pay attention to details and words and meaning. What word is there? It say him. And then it say them. And what did he call them? Verse two, male and female and created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam. Oh, Adam and Eve was called Adam. He gave her the name Eve. In the day when they were created, oh, these two was created, Adam and Eve. I don't see nothing about nobody else at this time. I don't see no nobody else, family. I just see Adam and Eve. He said he created him because y'all remember he created Adam first, made him a living soul, and then he made them. He took the real from Adam and made Eve. There you go. There you go, family. Y'all see how I just went into the Bible and I'd rather prove it with the scriptures because if I was on that panel, I would I would have told us all y'all. Now, keep reading. Don't stop. Go to where it say him. It don't say them, brother. It say him. You're getting mad because true because we just hold on, wait, 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 wait. What I here, here's what I here's what I don't want to do. I don't care what your understanding is. One thing we ain't supposed to do is lie on the verse. That verse does not say God created Adam, so you're lying. And even when I corrected you, you tried to double down on your lie. Let's just whatever your understand a hey, hey, Israel. What did I tell y'all was gonna happen? And look, this is my first time seeing this video. Because I like to watch what I'm about to bring forth. So when I say this is my first time watching it, I watched it. But this is my first time watching this part of what the Zaryak saying. Because at first I was about to clip the video and only use the part when he was talking about this is not literal. And I was going to talk on film more and do commentary. And then I said, now, nah, okay, Judah, go live with it. So your people can get a better understanding when you go live. What is going on now? They arguing. Why are they arguing? Because the Zarya can't prove his position. So now he accusing a brother of adding to the word when the Zarya added to the word when he said that wasn't literal. So he going to call one brother out, but don't see his own stuff. He got to pluck it out his own eye, but he want to call his brother out. See what I'm saying, y'all? This is what we got going on within this community. And everybody wonder why I'm about why we all can't come together. Because some of us are liars. That's why we can't come together. Some of us got hidden agendas. That's why we can't come together. Did not Christ come to cause division? So if Christ come to if Christ come to cause division, why are you mad about division? If Christ came to cause division and shake up the house, why are you mad about division? Christ say he come to cause division, but you asking me why we all can't come together because Christ come to cause division. <laughs> Woo. I don't understand why all on Israel, all you see is people fighting one another and going at each other's throat. Well, first of all, it's no different than the biblical days. 
when Moses brought the children of Israel out of the wilderness, God made a separation. He said, who's on the Lord's side? So I don't care what none of y'all say in the background. I always run in your mouths. I always got something to say about division. I always got something to say about why we all can't come together. Man, you come together with false teaching. You come together with liars. I'm not walking with nobody unless we can agree on at least 90% of the Bible. At least 90%. If you want to hang around people that teach lies, go ahead. But K. Judah understand the book and i'm not finna hang around those that teach lies because that's gonna make me a part of those lies and i don't want to be amongst the liars i want to be amongst the truth tellers because wherever there's light there's yashua and wherever there's lies there's darkness and i don't want to walk in the dark i want to walk in the light so if you want to know why we all can't come together because christ said he comes to cause division doctrine israel doctrine whatever your understanding is that's fine but let's just read the text as is and then break it down however you see fit but don't lie the scripture says if any man speak let him speak as the oracles of god so read the verse correctly please thank you i, I say i lie so we can leave that alone because if that's so what can you just read the verse again then okay let me read it again israel doctrine you didn't lie brother no you did don't let him do that to you. You didn't lie, brother. Okay. You, you, I mean, you didn't intentionally lie. So Zoryak has intentionally lied on the scriptures. He have intentionally lied on this book. He said that in 1 Corinthians 15, when it say the first Adam was made a living soul and the last Adam was made a quickening spirit, he said that's not literal. He added to the scriptures. Don't let them do that to you, Israel Doctrine. You said I say I lie. So why even say anything? Like, hold up, hold up, hold um, up, hold up. Yeah, because you're not in it. See, when you get other people's coming into the conversation. I don't control that. I didn't ask nobody else to speak. I don't control that. So this I is what I'm saying. Once again. We just read 1 Corinthians 15. We, we're reading Genesis 5 and 1. Can you read it as hey, is? Hey, you hey Sai, you see how you said I added something? I didn't add nothing to the text. I added my breakdown. He got to read the text as it says. Yeah, it's real. Like magic is good. But no, no. we're going to do this. I'm going to respect you. Hold on, Israel. Read what you said you read. Let's see what if, if the Zoriak is right. Just read what you called out. Okay, I'm going to read this, but we're going to talk about 1545 Corinthians. Just read okay. what you read out first. Go ahead. Okay, I'm going to read it, then I'm going to go there because people don't want to deal with the 1545 Corinthians. So let's read it. In the it, This is the books of the generation of Adam in the day that God created man. In the likeness of God made he him. Male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam in the day that he created them. So when I said Adam, I'm not wrong. You can say I'm wrong, and you he's, can say he's right, Captain. You can say yep. whatever the hell you he's want right. to say, but when we go to 1 Corinthians 15 and 45 and say Adam was the first one, and if that's a lie, then the Bible's a damn lie. Don't call me a lie. Say I'm making up. And that, so, so in that in that context, oh, no, no, hold on, dude. I don't word. know who that is. Hey, hold on, hold on, dude. Let let Israel, if Israel, are you finished? So I could respond. Yeah, you can respond. So now, when you read that text, First Corinthians fifteen, when he said running from it, I just broke that down. He read Genesis five and one and said, "This is the book of the generations of Adam in the day that God created Adam." That's how he first read it. Which of course will lead to a misunderstanding. Y'all already apologized, brother. Just just get to the point, dog. Just keep running back to that. He already apologized for that. Of what the text means. Because now when you read it properly, it says this is the book of the generations of Adam in the day that God created man. So now he created man, but it's talking about the generations of Adam. And how you know it's talking about that, because when you start reading this lineage. Cain ain't nowhere in that lineage. It's only talking about Adam, and then it goes right to Seth. It doesn't say nothing about Cain. We understand it don't say nothing about Cain. He was disinherited. When you disinherited by God, you are not a child of God anymore. No different than Satan and his devils. 
He was disinherited. He's not called a son of God no more. Like in the book of Job, when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and they say Satan came also. It, it didn't say a son of God, because Satan not a son of God. Just like Adam not, I mean, uh, Cain not a son of God. So of course his lineage not in the Bible. He was disinherited by God for what he did to his brother Abel. So yes, it's going to start with self. That's common sense. And Cain is a son of Adam. So the point. But not of God to Zoriak. He's a son of Adam, but not a son of God. What part of that don't you understand? He is a son of Adam, but not a son of God. Because when Seth was born, then men began to call on the name of the Lord to Zoriak when Seth was born. Because Seth is just like his brother Abel. Abel pleased the Lord. Seth, children, called upon the name of the Lord not Cain. So he might be a son of Adam, but he was not a son of God. That's why you can't find his lineage in the scriptures. He was disinherited by God. Knowledge, knowledge. Of this verse, when you go to the point of this verse is that uh, it's about who was the line that the Lord selected. He didn't select Cain's line. He selected Seth's line. So when you read, and Adam lived 130 years, and begat a son in his own likeness after his image and called his name Seth. So now 430 years is when he had Seth. There's no other mention of sons and daughters at this point. It says in the days after Adam, after he had begotten Seth were 800 years and he begat sons and daughters. That's talking about Seth. That's not talking about Adam. What? What? Dog, Adam already had sons and daughters because Cain got his wife from a farm from amongst Adam children. What are you talking about? He went to the land of Nod and got a wife from his father's lineage way before Seth, bruh. This frustrating, y'all. Y'all don't understand. I hate false doctrine. Because all they do is cause so much confusion within the awakening. We keep trying to go one direction and we keep getting pulled back. We keep thinking we're going forward and we get pulled back with more lies and more lies, y'all. Let me go read that Cain got a wife from his father's lineage, not Seth. Jesus, like my uh, kinfolk Ann says, home of the truth, huh? This is home of the truth, huh? This dude just say anything. Whew. Oh, my God. Help us, man. Here you go, man. This is uh, Genesis chapter 4. And I'm going to pick it up at verse 15, man. Listen to this, family. Now, this is way before Seth, y'all. Now, I want y'all to notice I'm reading the scriptures. I'm not going to private interpretate. I'm not going to tell y'all what I think. I'm going to just read it, and we're going to see when Seth was born. Because Cain took a wife way before Seth was born, y'all. Where did he get the wife from? That means that Adam had sons and daughters, y'all, a bunch of them. Jesus. Uh, Genesis chapter 4 and verse 15. And the Lord said unto him, therefore, whosoever slayed Cain, vengeance should be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain, lest any finding him should kill him. And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod on the east of Eden. And Cain knew his wife and she conceived and bare Enoch. Now stop right there. When was Seth born? Now jump over y'all to verse 24. If Cain should be a being sevenfold, truly Lamech seventy and sevenfold. And Adam knew his wife again, and she bare a son and called his name Seth. So do y'all see, family, that Cain already took a wife from among Adam's lineage? And then Seth was born. So what is he talking about, family? 
This is way before Seth was born. So that means his father did have other sons and daughters. This is knowledge, knowledge. Where's Cain at? If y'all want to make this literal, where is Cain at? He's not in here. I told y'all don't go to Genesis. He keep talking about making it literal when Cain was disinherited. What is wrong with this guy? I'm saying this from the bottom of my heart, and I mean this, and I'm not, I'm not trying to disrespect to Zoryak in no way, but truth is truth, and I stand on truth. I believe that Tazariak need to take a break. I think he need to go back to the uh, drawing board. He need to reread the scriptures, family. Because whatever they doing in Israel United uh, uh, ISUPK, this man is not getting the right understanding. So if he teach like this, that means all of them teach like this. Because you remember they the home of the truth. This man need to stop, y'all. Like he, I'm not saying he don't have no knowledge. Don't get me wrong. But this man need to stop, y'all. Like, he need to slow down, go back to the drawing board, reread the Bible over again like we all have to do. This is like my second time rereading the whole Bible again. Ten years the first time I'm doing it all over again right now. He need to go sit down, family. And he's so pompous and arrogant in his approach to the way he think he breaking down things and all he doing is causing confusion with the scriptures. Is he a teacher? I don't know. I mean, he's teaching. Did y'all call him? I don't know. Did he call him to teach though? Because just because you call into the truth don't mean you call to teach. We got a lot of brothers and sisters that some people are just here to learn the truth, obey the truth, live by the truth, and receive their crown of life. Some of us is chosen to teach. Is he chosen to teach? It don't look like it to me. Because anybody chosen to teach not going to teach lies and cause confusion. Or maybe he's chosen to teach and he's just lazy and he's not really digesting the scriptures that y'all wanted to be digested and rightly divided. It could be either one, family. I don't know. He needs to stop teaching, though. He caused too much confusion. Every time he go to Sinetta's platform, all this dude do is lie. That's it. He just make up stuff, man. Let's get a little bit more of this and I'm about to go. Because I don't want this to be two hours at all. Me and Sharsham just did a beautiful live last night. But I had to do this because Israel, I'm doing this for you, fam. So now you know without a shadow of a doubt that this man is twisting scriptures, manipulating scriptures. So anybody try to bring this to y'all, y'all already know what to do. You got the scriptures. All you got to do is stay in the Old Testament, stay in the book of Genesis chapter 1, 2, 3, and 5. That's it. You don't got to go nowhere else. To debunk this, stay in Genesis chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And you could debunk this. It's not literally written that. If it's written that, it is literally written that. If you say it ain't literally Where's written Where's Cain at then? Listen, you Can you just it. tell me where Cain... Cain is Seth's older brother. Wait, wait, I'm gonna I'm 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 give you the floor. I, I know it hurt. I, I know it hurt. The only one yelling is you. I just want to ask you one question. I just want to ask you one question and then you got it. If Cain is Seth's older brother, why in this lineage that you saying is literal, why we don't see Cain and then Seth? You got the floor. I'll tell you. Because the reason you don't see Cain is because Cain is not in the narrative yet. He's not in the story until something happened with him and his brother. That's and when Cain gets in the story. So Cain is in the story. <laughs> I am making a clip out of y'all niggas. Sarnetta, on, on that part, no. When you read Genesis chapter 4, Cain and Abel is already mentioned way before Seth. Okay, we all know this. He killed his brother. He become a vagabond in the earth. That's why he's not in Genesis chapter five, because he was disinherited by God. He put a mark up on him where, where I found out through other sources outside books. You know, the books that people say don't read. It was leprosy. The mark. Uh, thank you to my brother, Yavin. The mark that God uh, Yah put up on Cain, <coughs> excuse me, on Cain was leprosy. He's a vagabond. The earth should not yield her increase to Cain. He go take a wife from among his father's lineage, which was in the land of Nod. 
He had some children. They was wicked and perverse. He had one named Lamech. He killed two people. He killed a man. I mean, I'm sorry. He killed the man. And then he said, if anybody shall be avenged on Cain, then they shall also be avenged seven and sevenfold. So the point that I'm making is that when you read about Cain's children, this is why he flooded the earth. So Cain was disinherited, brother. That's just common sense. That's why he's not in the lineage of Adam. Because when Seth was born, then they began to call on the name of the Lord. How is that so hard to be un like? That's simple. Cain didn't call on the name of the Lord. His children didn't call on the name of the Lord. So God gave them another son named Seth. That's it. It's that simple. Today, I'm just letting you know, sir. I am definitely making a clip out of y'all niggas today. This is how it works. In Genesis 1, he tell you about the creation. In 2, he give you detail. And Cain is in that detail in 2. Say not. Is he in 2 or not? Come on, Captain. He's not in 2 because he's in 3. See? He, he wise. He wise. Right. Right, SUPK do a good job, but it's certain as brothers stop Israel doctrine. I love you, they don't do a good job, bro. They teach lies, bro. Why y'all think it's so much confusion in the nation? Because <laughs> of lies, uh, lies, family of lies. My job as a teacher is to make sure that according to the Bible, y'all stay on the right track when it come to y'all. He told us don't add or take away from his word or I'm going to take you out the book of life. I hope people don't think he playing. And I hope that you don't think because you're an Israelite and you wear fringes and you got a garment on that that mean anything to the Lord if you teaching lies. He still will remove your candlestick. Y'all remember five of the virgins was wise. And five was foolish. And the ones that were foolish went to the wise and said, give me some of your all. They said, not so. Unless it be not enough for me and you. So that means you better work out your own salvation. And I would advise all my beloved family of the nation of Israel, please read for yourself. Don't take my words, Tazariak words, no man words. Fact check us to make sure we coming directly from the source. Because the Zoryak been lying for so long, family, and not too many people call this man out. And then when they try to talk to him, all he do is private interpretate. All he do is talk the scriptures, but he don't read the scriptures. He don't read the scriptures. He just talking. And none of us want to hear no talking. Prove it to us, brother. Let me let this go for a little bit more and then I'm out of here. Hold on, hold on, Israel. See, he's asking about Cain. Cain is not in the story yet. Cain get in the story when once he kills his brother. Chapter you three. Think? That's when he begins to get in the story. But by this time, by this yeah. time, it's already, it's already thousands of people on the earth already. You see? We just don't know that because it's not in chronological order. Hold on, Israel. So when you say it's already people there already. Yes, there's people there because there's already thousands and thousands of people on the earth. Remember, Adam lived to be, what, 800 years old. You you treating it like as though this is just happening when he was. Y'all can't tell me this not sad. If Y'all can't tell me that Sarnetta is schooling to Zari, y'all, and Sarnetta don't even believe in the Bible. And don't y'all know Sarnetta do read the scriptures because he read them so he can go at other Israelites. And to Zari, y'all don't even know what he talking about and Sarnetta is teaching the Israelite who supposed to have more knowledge than the one who don't even believe in God. How about that, family? How about that? To, Sarnetta just told him something that was a nugget and he didn't even catch it. It was already people on this earth. By the time you get to Genesis chapter 3 when they was kicked out the garden, by the time you get to Genesis 5, Adam didn't already had kids. That's why, I mean, I'm sorry. By the time you get to Genesis chapter 4, 
uh, Cain then already took a wife from the land of Nod. <laughs> Before you get to Genesis 5, Cain then already took a wife, y'all. So that means that we know the Bible is not in chronological order. So it was already other people from Adam's lineage because Adam lived to be 900 and some years old and had sons and daughters. That's a lot of kids. That's what Cain got his wife from, y'all. So when Tazaria thinking he proving something, he don't even know by the time they kicked out the garden, Adam and Eve is having other children, sons and daughters. So by the time you get to Genesis 4, when Cain killed Abel, he's a vagabond. God put a mark upon him and he take a wife from where? The land of Nod. From where? His father's lineage. <laughs> Woo! So Zara, y'all, please go sit down. Please go sit down. You need to be put in time out. You really do. They need to put you in time out, brother. You need to take a breath. You need to take a breather. Because you are a false teacher, boy, if I ain't never seen one. The stuff that come out of your mouth and the way you try to explain things and probably interpretate and try to, you know, uh, 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 speak on the scriptures in a way where you're going to uh, sens uh, sensationalize the scriptures. We don't need that, brother. We don't need that. It's created. No, Captain. Let me show you this, Captain. You got to get past this. And I've been showing this for a long time. You got to get past this. If you can't get past them, this, then there's no other creation story. Watch this. Here, go right here. In Genesis, 20, in Genesis um, 2 and 1, right? It says, thus the heaven and the earth were finished and all the host of them. What does that mean, Captain, when it says the earth was finished and all the host of them? What that mean? Watch you about the private interpretate. Watch. Hey, what that simply means, y'all doing a horrible job, right? So what that means, boy, close the door. Thank you. What that simply means is the point that I'm making that everything was already created. Given a man the breath of life or the law, it's not creating him. It's changing his thought process. Just like when Christ says a quickening spirit, those of us that were not following Christ and we believe in Christ, he quickens our spirit. That <laughs> change of line. <laughs> Excuse me, a living soul. He was already alive. He was just taught how to live according to God. So when y'all bring up Genesis 5, and y'all talk about Cain wasn't a part of the picture. Cain is the older brother. And the chapter before that is where Cain killed Abel. And after Cain kills Abel, he goes to the land of Nod. Then they have another son. So how are y'all saying that in Genesis, the fifth chapter, it's skipping Cain? Cain is already alive. It's skipping Cain in Genesis chapter 5 because he was disinherited. Brother, what is wrong with this guy? He was disinherited by the time you get to the lineage. That's why it's not running his lineage down. Because they was wicked and perverse. And the reason why the earth was flooded. Come on, Tazari, yeah? Do a better job, brother. You can clip out of this one, Captain. Yeah, oh. but I'm going to just ask the question again. That I ain't get no answer to. Or maybe I didn't hear it. Cain is the older brother of Seth. I want to tell this person right here that you are absolutely correct. I want to tell uh, uh, your brother, Micaiah, uh, your brother, I learned that Genesis chapter 1 was a summary of creation. And Genesis chapter 2 went into more detail about the creation of man. I've been telling people that for years, family. I told y'all, a lot of people got understanding. Some of us read this book. Some of us read this book because everything that Micaiah, Micaiah just said, I learned that Genesis chapter one was a summary. Didn't I tell y'all before it's a blueprint of the creation? And by the time you get to Genesis two, all he telling you is what he did in Genesis chapter one. Because from one to six, he created everything. And he rested on the seventh day. He didn't uh, like, like start over after the seventh day. No, it was one through six. One through six. 
Okay, thank you. Thank you. One through six is the creation story. J uh, chapter one is a summary of everything. Chapter two is more explanation of what he did in chapter one. <laughs> you know how we know that? Because in chapter one, it didn't tell you he breathed into his nostrils. It didn't tell you about the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and the tree of life. It didn't tell you until chapter two that he took a rib from Adam and made woman. So in, in two, it give more detail of what he did in chapter one. It's a summary, a blueprint, like a skeleton, like when you build a house. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thank you, Makaya. Thank you, brother. Thank you. He comes before Seth. So in Genesis, the fifth chapter, why does it omit Cain from Adam's lineage? That's my question. Because he killed Abel. You know how Satan becomes the fallest demon? And he was disannulled as a son of God. Now he's Satan. When Cain killed Abel, God cut him off. Hey, some people do read. I told y'all. Some people read. That's He, he just explained it to y'all. I don't got to even say nothing. The same way he cut off Satan and called him Satan and not a son of God no more or Lucifer. It's the same way he cut off Cain. He disinherited Cain. So that's why you can't find Cain in Genesis chapter 5 because he was disinherited by Yah. That's how he cut people off. That's why you got the sons of man, which is Cain's seed, and you got the son, I mean the daughters of God, which is set seed. That's why it's no co-mingling seeds and stuff. And don't y'all teach that? That y'all ain't supposed to put y'all seed in no foreign women and all that? Because wow. God wants his seed to be perfect and everything. And he need his people to raise his seed and have his seed. But when Cain... Now, here's where I just walked you right into a body bag. You, you didn't even know. Uh, your answer... You no quit. Your, your answer... Your answer... Your, your answer was that Cain had killed Abel. I agree with you. So Cain was cut off from Adam, right? Yes or no? Do you think? So, okay. So Cain was cut off from Adam. So although Cain is not mentioned... Cain was cut off from Yah. Y'all see how he keep trying to talk about from Adam? He was cut off from Yah and Yahshua, not Adam. Because he still took a wife from among his father lineage. So how he was cut off from his father? Knowledge, knowledge. In, in Genesis, the fifth chapter, we all know Cain and his whole family is living. So that proves the point. The point of Genesis, the fifth chapter, is not saying that there wasn't nobody else on the planet Earth. This is just the people that descend from Adam according to God. God separated Cain from Adam's lineage. That nigga lying. <laughs> Seth. The Lord said Adam, Seth, etc. Now the whole time y'all reading about... Can y'all hear me? Yeah, I hear you, but Captain... No, y'all is messing up your microphone. That's why they can't... Like, every time you lie... Your microphone start messing up because y'all don't want to hear your foolishness. I'm sorry look, to cut you off, say, but when you look at... Wait, hold on. Say that again, sir. I'm sorry to cut you off, but when you look at this scripture, I brought this to you before. Wait, hold on. Pause, pause for one second because I'm in my car. I'm just switching to my Bluetooth. Just pause for one second, please. Okay. I'm just uh, trying to make sure that um, this co it comes right. out right. I apologize. Right, right. Uh, As, um... I want to read this that my beloved sister Rachel put in here. And this is the absolute truth. Great scripture, uh, sister Rachel. First Corinthians chapter two and verse 14. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of Yah, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. And what do y'all brother always say? In order to understand the scriptures, you must be walking in the spirit. That means Yah is going to test every last one of us to see if we are doing our due diligence, family. Because if Yah call you for a job 
he not gonna cause a he not gonna call a lazy man for a strong man's job. He gonna call a strong man for a strong man's job. If you lazy, y'all not gonna lose or use you. If that fire is burning in you and you do your due diligence and you walking in the spirit, y'all gonna most certainly use you, whether you a brother or a sister. Tazari, y'all need to go back to the drawing board, family. And I'm saying this out of love. Tazari, y'all don't have understanding like he think he do, family. He have to stop teaching what he teaching and get the right understanding. But I know he's not going to do it because he have captain in front of his name. And with titles comes pride. And with titles come those who are arrogant. And they think you can't tell them nothing because they have a title in front of their name. No different than a Christian preacher who call himself bishop or prophet so-and-so or reverend so-and-so or apostle so-and-so. Titles cause pride. Be waiting. Family, he can't get past Tobit. This is a book that they took out of the King James Bible. Why did they take it out? Why are you adding books and then taking books out? See, they make it up as they go. When I say they, I'm not talking about Tazoriak or nobody. I'm saying the people. I'm saying the people who put the book together. Captain, you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, so when you look at Tobit 8 and 6, how can you get past this? You created Adam and gave him his, his um wife Eve to be his helper and support. They became the what? Can you give me the chapter and verse you're at again, sir? It's right down the screen. Um, um, Tobit 8-6. Tobit 8-6. And they okay. became the parents of what? The whole human family. It don't say they became you the parents. You said Tobit. Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait one second. You said Tobit. Come on, Tazar Yak. You see it on the screen, man. Stop playing games, bro. I can't stand when people do that, man. The man got it on the screen. You keep stopping him because you don't. You just you being proven wrong, brother. But your pride won't allow you to just say, you know what? Y'all showed me, and I stand corrected. Man, I was on a panel with a brother on my own platform, and he said something. And I went to it. I said, you know what, brother? My bad. You right. I stand corrected. You are right about that part. Oh, sometimes you just got to say I stand corrected, brother. Now, Oracle, you asked a good question. You said, K. Judah show. So how did Tazariak become a purported champion in the truth? Why do we know him if he is teaching like this? Because the most dangerous thing, the most dangerous thing on YouTube, Oracle, is a microphone in the wrong hands, my sister. That's why you know him. The most dangerous thing is a microphone in the wrong hands, my sister. And he have a microphone. And behind this microphone, he has a big platform and a big voice in the Israelite community. And what he say holds weight. No matter if they go read to find out whether he's telling the truth, if he lying, they just believe what he say. And this is how this all happened, my sister. They believe what he say without fact checking him. So this is why. He's sitting up here. Sinetta got the scripture on the screen and he keep going. Hold up, Sa. Where you at? Brother, just look at the screen, bro. It's right there. Toby what? Toby eight, eight and six. Toby three and six? Eight. Eight, 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 eight and six. Eight and six. Toby eight and six. Okay, I'm with you. All right. It says you created Adam and gave him his wife Eve to be his helper and support, right? They it says of them came, yeah, it says of them came mankind. Right, and they became the first parents of the whole human family. So right there it says it says thou it says of them came mankind, thou hast said it is not good for man that he should be alone. Let us make unto make unto him an aid unto himself. Where does it say everybody? Because I don't have an issue with that either. Like All you right. can go to second exit six and let me finish. Let me finish. It says okay. Six, number six. Wait, hey, Paul, hey, si, I'm gonna leave and come right back in. I, I, I don't know why it's not connected to my Bluetooth. I'm gonna just hop out and come right back in. Okay, all right. Captain don't see it. He said he don't see it. <laughs> Everybody else see it. It's right there on the screen. I got it right there on the screen. I didn't type this up myself. Well, let's go back to Genesis 5. That's why everybody and they mama leave out Genesis 5. They don't know nothing about it because no ignorant ass Hebrew Israelite 
teacher then talked about Genesis 5. All right, here go Captain right now. Did you see it on the screen? I doubt, I doubt if ISUPK ever dealt with Genesis 5, but let's deal All with it. All right, hold on, Israel. Do you see it on the screen, Captain? Unmute yourself. Yeah, I can see it. It's not as big on my screen, but I can see it. But I don't have an issue. The reason why Tobit would write that and why we all come from Adam and Eve today. Do y'all ever notice that Tazariak is always trying to explain the scripture? Y'all know how the Bible say line must be up on line and precept must be up on precept. Have y'all ever noticed that every time he get ready to explain something, he never grab a scripture. He just try to explain it. And like my sister Arca said, sensationalize the scriptures. Oh, I said it right that time. Y'all see how he just talked the scriptures. He never read the scriptures. He always trying to give an explanation of everything instead of just letting the Bible prove to us what it's saying. He always got to say, well, you know, when it say right there what it really means, we don't need you to do that. We don't need you to do that. Is because Noah is the only one that survived from the flood. So, of course, we all come from Adam and Eve. That's not a problem. Like that, that scripture that you're reading. No, this is what it says. Said, they became the parents of the whole human family, not of the same. Okay, so that's that got so that, that, that what that right there says. That's that's the good news translation. So Tobit yeah. eight and six that I that I have says, Thou madest Adam and gave him Eve for his wife and for a helper and stay. Of them came mankind. Thou hast said, It is not good that man should be alone. Let us make an aid unto him like unto himself. Them is, coming from man, I, I, I don't, yeah, I don't have a problem with that. So like I can also read second Ezra 6 and 54 when it says of Adam, of him come we all. We all come from Adam today. We're not talking about. To, That's what the argument is about, Captain, that Adam was the, the first man according to the Bible. Not be before the flood. That's not true. And y'all okay. proving my point. Just well, again, once you start trying to explain to me where Cain's wife came from, Cain is before Seth. Cain is before it even says sons and daughters was born to Adam. If y'all say they Adam, I say that it's uh, Seth that it says sons and daughters was born to him. That's all after Cain. To Zoriak, no, brother. After Cain kills Abel. Because the Bible is not in chronological order, and this is why we got to go precept on precept. Even though Genesis chapter 4 come before Genesis chapter 5, when we get to Genesis chapter 5, it's only giving us the lineage and the rundown of all the children from Adam to Methuselah. And even after Methuselah, we got you know Noah's father, and then Noah had his three sons, and then we go right over to Genesis chapter 6, right? So Cain killed his brother, y'all. Cain takes a wife from the land of Nod. That means that his father had other children, sons and daughters. And then from Genesis 4, you go right over to 5 and they give you the rundown of the lineage. I don't see how Tazoriak is missing this. A a Cain took a wife way before Seth was even born, family. That means that his father already had other sons and daughters. And Genesis 5 is only giving you the rundown of it. How is that so hard to be understood, y'all? How? Brother, you're making up lies because ain't no chronology there. I'm going to read. Can I just oh, read? The, on, let me just on, read. I just, on, okay, on. Wait, wait. Before before you say, when you when I accuse you of lying, I let you read the verses. You just said I'm lying. Let me read the verses. Thank you. you. This is read the verses before I even started. Oh, I just want to read the verses. You said I'm lying. I just want to read the verses. Read this is me. Genesis 5. This is Genesis 5 and 3. And Adam lived 430 years and begot a son in his likeness after his image and called his name Seth. 430 years. Cain is already living and in another city. Because Cain is older than Seth. So you can't make this literal. Then it says. What? What? How is not literal if Cain took a wife? How is not literal if Cain had children? How is not literal if he became a vagabond and the Lord put a mark on him? How is not literal when his brother actually died and he shed his brother's blood? What is this Negro talking about? I got to hit him with it again, family. That nigga lying. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 
and the days after Adam, he had begotten Seth were 800 years and he begot sons and daughters that he is Seth. Cain is still alive. In the previous chapter, you read about Cain, you read about Lamech, you read about Jabal, you read about all these other people that are alive. Hey, Captain, do Why can mm -hmm. you read Revelations 12 and 9? My teacher said um, that um, Revelations 12 and 9 answers the question of Nod and Cain's wife. So can you read Revelations 12 and 9? Um, I'm about to start drive. I'm about to start driving. If you could, I got. I got to go. Hey, Sa, I'm about to do a, a interview on 139 the beat in Harlem, but they in Jersey. But that's why. But that's why I'm on my way to. This is a dangerous thing. Tazoyak is going from platform to platform, radio station to radio station. He's going to big platforms, and he's spreading lies to our people. I pray, Father, that you shut down all lies in the Israelite community. I pray, Most High Yah, in faith in your only begotten Son, that you remove all lies from the community. That's all I'm asking you to do. I don't wish no ill on none of my brothers or my sisters, but I'm asking you, Father, in faith in your Son, can you remove all lies from the Israelite community? This is causing a major stumbling block for your people. Tazar Yak is spreading his doctrine everywhere of the is ISUPK, and they are teaching abominable things that are very dangerous to your people and causing many to stumble. I ask y'all in faith in your son that you remove all lies from the Israelite community. Christ told me he come to cause division. But everybody keep asking me why we can't come all together because Christ come to come uh, because Christ come to cause division. If Christ come to cause division. Why I want to come not together with everybody when he just told me he come to cause division. <laughs> the reason why he causing division because he's separating the truth from the lies. The reason why he causing division because he's separating the real from the fake. I keep telling y'all your skin color don't make us family. The spirit do. Those in the wilderness was Moses had the same skin color of Moses but wanted to stone Moses. Moses say, who's on the Lord's side? Come over here. And those who wasn't on the Lord's side, he opened up the earth and killed them. And also the priests went through the mist and slew them. Moses say, who's on the Lord's side? So are we all family? Why did Moses say, who's on the Lord's side? Why did Joshua say for me in my house? We going to serve the Lord. That means you better make your decision. Okay, Judah, why we can't all come together? There's so much division on the internet because Christ come to cause division. So, of course, it's going to be division among us because Christ separating the real from the faith. If you can't understand that, you just can't understand. Christ taking two walk together unless they agree. So what, you want me to mingle with Tazar Yak while he teaching lies? How me and this man going to walk together? So you want me to go with Israel united in Christ? How me and them going to walk together? So we got people teaching abominable doctrines. How we going to walk together? But y'all want me to come together with everybody, right? All we going to do is argue and fight. Because there's going to be so many doctrines thrown on the table. And all we going to do is argue and fight. So how about you just get with somebody, at least y'all agree on 90 some percent of the Bible, at least y'all can walk together without all the fighting and arguing. Okay, Judah, why is so much division? Christ come to cause division. Why we can't come together, K. Judah? Christ come to cause division. <laughs> Christ come to shake up the house. And I come to do the same. Okay. I know who you're talking about. Yeah. So I'm about to um, head over there. They used, to be that's right, why, that's, they used to be right here in Harlem, though. Yeah, that's why I said. I, I thought I was going to be going to New York, but he said they in uh, Tenderfly. So yeah. I'm on my way there. Yeah. Okay. Read but, that. No, okay, okay. but I, but I need – no, no, I can't read it because I'm driving, so I need somebody oh. to read it for me, oh, please. Bro, if y'all could just bro, read – if y'all could just read the King James Version and just read it verbatim, I would greatly appreciate it. Right. And before you do that, I want everybody to know that I will be playing um um Khalid Omani verse where he, <laughs> where he talked about Nepal was right. And you left. I guarantee you, Lucky D, he would not come on my platform. Because what they're going to do is that they're going to see what you teach first. And once they realize that you have, you know, some some understanding, 
and you know what you're talking about, they're not going to come. See, they like dealing with our people that's just coming into the truth so they can bully them, you know, uh, use scripture that they don't understand so they can kind of manhandle them. See, he can't do me like that. None of these Israelites in this community can manhandle K. Judah. None of them. Because I read the book. That don't mean I'm better than anyone. It's just that I take time out and give y'all and y'all short time out of my life to read the book. Because I want a real relationship with them. And when I put my lessons together through the spirit of Yah and Yahshua, I feel them when I'm moving a pen. I can feel their spirit, man. I feel it because it's impossible for me to be able to have this understanding without them. No man get understanding without Yahshua. No man get understanding without Yah. It is impossible to be able to have this understanding without the spirit of Yah and Yahshua. Impossible. So, yeah, they'll never come, Lucky D. He'll never come. Um, you running from Khalid Omani. You you can't touch him. None of y'all. None of y'all can Man, touch y'all niggas is crazy. Oh, I don't want to touch. No more my channel. I will put my team up yeah. against General Yohanna. Oh. All right, family. That's it. I just wanted to show y'all that I'm doing this, family, uh, to keep our people on the right track. A lot of people listen to ISUPK. A lot of people listen to Tazar Yah. I can't tell nobody who platform to go to, who to listen to. That's just not something I do because I am not Lord, leader, or none of that over no man or no woman. The only thing I can do is give you advice. Be careful who you listen to, family. Be careful who you get your ears to. Be careful with the information you're receiving because not everybody have your best interest. Not everybody care about you enough to tell you the truth. Because if you genuinely love black people, you will never lie to them. If you genuinely love your friend, you are never doing wrong. I don't understand how y'all be getting friends in this nation and then y'all don't talk after six months to a year. That means that what kind of friend of y'all? When you really get a friend, you will never do your friend wrong. You wouldn't backbite against your friend. You wouldn't slander your friend. You wouldn't be looking at your friend, woman. When you a real friend, you don't do none of those things. When your friend leave the house, you don't stay in the house with your friend's woman. You say, hey, I'm going with you, bro. I mean, that's just a real man, a real friend. You're going to build up your friend. You're going to encourage your friend. Where you going, you want your friend to go. If your light shining, you want your friend to participate in that light and also receive what you're going to receive. And that's from Yah and Yahshua. When you're a real friend. When you're a phony friend, and you genuinely don't love your friend, that means you just his friend for opportunity and what you can get from your friend. And once you get what you wanted to get from them, you just leave them. And then you go talk about them and slander them and lie and say things that you should. And, 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 and this is why I'm going to always speak my mind as a man, whether who agree with me or not. I'm a man. I'm going to speak my mind. In this Israelite community, I see so many people whining and crying about why we going at each other on YouTube. Because of lies. That's why. Because some teaching truth and some teaching lies. So that's why we going at each other. But some going at each other in a disrespectful way. And some of us just going at the doctrine. I just go at the doctrine. Y'all ain't hear me say nothing disrespectful towards us, are y'all? So I'm just going at the doctrine that he teaching. I don't got to disrespect my brothers and sisters to get my point across. But the Bible going to get his point across. Point blank, period. I'm going to keep calling out false doctrine. I'm going to keep calling out lies because I love my people just that much to keep you on the right track when it comes to your king and your father. I mean, that's what he told us to do. He said, how beautiful are the feet of those that bring good tidings, not lies. Not lies. He say, seek out of the book of the Lord and read. He say, blessed is he that read it, the prophecy of this book. Why bless? Because we bringing it to the nation. And we rightly dividing it for you, family, so you can get you some salvation. That you can receive your crown. Because if you genuinely love your people, you will never lie to your people. You will never deceive them. But I guess a lot of y'all just don't have that type of love, right? That's why it's so easy to deceive. And then when they disagree with you, you get mad at them and curse them out because they don't agree with you. They don't agree with your lies. 
So now they got to be these derogatory terms because you lack knowledge. You lack understanding. I love y'all family. I pray somebody got some understanding. To Zara Yak, if I was you, and I know you ain't going to listen, and who care whether you listen or not? Because this is for the rest of my brothers and sisters who either just coming in, who really don't understand the Bible that much, but trying to the best of their ability to get that knowledge, knowledge. This is for them. I would advise you to go back to the drawing board and really write and divide the word and ask the Lord for the right understanding because you get your understanding from a man. You don't get your understanding from y'all because y'all do whatever General Yohanna tell y'all to do. You teach whatever General Yohanna teach. I teach what no man teach. I teach what y'all have in the book and what y'all sure have in the book. That's what I teach. No man can dictate K. Judah. Yah and Yah sure dictate what K. Judah do and what he put in me in order to feed his sheep, which is the words of Yah and the words of life. That's my job, family. I love y'all. I say big salute and many blessings to the nation. Big salute, family. <music>
and also Israel. Love you enough, family, to teach you truth. Don't let somebody else love for you or so-called love for you and that you become under their spell, that you give so much of yourself to them and not enough to yourself. Don't, family, allow somebody else so-called love for you that you entrench yourself under them to where every word is truth that come out of their mouth. No, give that to you. Love you enough to teach you truth. Love you enough to go to Yah yourself and ask for understanding, to ask for wisdom, to ask for knowledge. Love you just that much, family. Encourage you. Don't put all that on somebody else to encourage you. You encourage you. You give yourself a high five. Confidence is everything, family. Confidence in yourself is everything. In order to be bold for y'all, you need confidence, right? If somebody take your confidence for arrogance, so what, y'all? People going to, that's one thing about black people. You know they going to talk. Let them talk. Because that's all they do anyway is talk. Some of us actually move on behalf of others. Others just talk. Shout out to my sister, Wild Society. I feel so good about where things is headed and where they are going. That my beloved sister, Oracle, and the CUC family is with our sister. And certain doors was open because of we stood with her and we give the praise to Yah and Yahshua. We ain't just talking over here. Some of y'all just be talking. Actions over words is weighed in a balance. Talking is just talking. So in the words of my beloved sister August Dreams, thank y'all for coming to the lines then with the CUC family, the FOPE family, and all my beloved brothers and sisters in the chat. Let's get it. <laughs> And your brother King Judah want to say shalom and Shabbat shalom.